Windstar Farm uh, was originally settled in the late 1700s uh, by two families, the Ashby family and the Dunlap family. Um, Claude Williams uh, ended up marrying a Dunlap and they ended up living in the old guest house that you see up from the road by the Silver Spring. And uh, Claude Williams' daughter ended up selling the farm to Dudley Webb, who then ended up selling the farm to Bill Carl of Old Colony Insurance. He renamed it Wakefield Farm. And in 1986, uh, the Preston brothers from Texas, J.R., Jack, and Art, uh, bought the farm from Bill Carl, and they renamed it Prestonwood Farm. And then in 2000, uh, Bill Kasner and uh, Kenny Trout came along and bought the farm from Prestonwood. It started with 425 acres and now we encompass 2,500 acres along uh, Pisgah Pike, kind of between Pisgah Pike and, and Big Sink Pike. We joke all the time that Kenny doesn't want to own all the land in Woodford County, just what's next to him. So we've gone from 400 acres to 2,500 acres. Well, history tells us that there was a meteorite that uh, came into the Big Sink area on the west side of, uh, of the farm. Um, I don't know exactly when, but the, I think it has a lot to do with the undulation of the ground and the topography that Windstar Farm now uh, resides on, which I think is great for raising horses. Uh, you know, you need variation in ground. You need hills. You need horses to be able to go up hills, down hills, change speeds, change di direction. And I think all that uh, leads to uh, developing a, a young racehorse. And I think that combined with the bluegrass and the, and the limestone that's underneath it, the rich ground that Windstar Farm is on uh, just east of Lexington makes it a, a, a primary place that we've been had tremendous success over the last 20 years of breeding top class racehorses. Some of the top horses that we've been blessed to breed here are uh, Super Saver who won the Kentucky Derby in 2010, and New Money Honey who was an Eclipse champion, uh, Tourist who won the Breeders' Cup Mile, and uh, we've actually raised 28 grade one winners in, in 20 years of existence and 77 graded. So a lot of good horses have been raised here on this land. One thing that I think about often uh, when it comes to the evolution of Windstar Farm is that Kenny Trout and Bill Kasner, uh, Bill Kasner especially became friends with the Prestons who owned the farm before Kenny and Bill did. And I happened to be training uh, Victory Gallup for the Prestons in 1998. Kenny came to his first horse race in over 20 years. Uh, he had owned horses at a very modest level in the 70s, in Axar Ben and Oaklawn, and, and always dreamed of, of owning a, a top-class farm. He came to Saratoga in the summer of 1999 to watch uh, Victory Gallup to get to know the just to see Saratoga. So we come to run Victory Gallop in the Whitney, and he wins by this much. And I often wonder, if he didn't win, uh, would Windstar have existed? Because he might have gone back to Texas and, and he had actually been looking at buying the Denver Nuggets at the time. So he was debating whether to invest in the Denver Nuggets or invest in, in the horse business. And uh, uh, we're sure grateful that he chose the horse business and it's been a lifetime of memories both for his family and for everyone here involved at Windstar Farm. We've had some really interesting uh, visitors at the farm uh, and uh, we had SEAL Team 4 uh, right after the Iraq War and that was that was amazing to, to understand the service that they have to our country and, and then to be able to have them here, host them here uh, was really exciting. It was also pretty QT at the time as well. Um, and they came to see uh, Colonel John, uh, who's named after John Guider, who is a colonel, was a colonel in the army and, and is Kenny's right-hand man. Uh, that was really exciting. We've uh, hosted a couple uh, parties here. We've had Tim McGraw here uh, for the Breeders' Cup uh, Thursday night bash and uh, we had Clint Black here. It's such a show place, it's, it's great to be able to share that with uh, many people. You know, the farm is special. 
uh, you know, it, it not only raises great horses, but uh, it, it involves so many families uh, that are going to be here for generations. Uh, while Windstar Farm in its evolution is only 20 years in existence, um, it's going to be exciting to see what happens over the next 20 years and 40 years. One thing about being in the horse business, it's, uh, it's not just an occupation, it's a lifestyle. And, and to, to be able to have the opportunity to, to breed great horses, to be in a beautiful place. I mean, it's amazing when people come in to Windstar Farm. It's like Christmas. Their light, their eyes just, are you, you get to go to work here every day. And, uh, you know, sometimes we forget that. I forget that. I get caught up in the mundane things of the day to day. And, uh, you know, God's creation is evident right here at Windstar Farm. But one of the things that uh, we have in the lobby that is most important to us here at Windstar Farm is Proverbs 2131, the plaque that, that resides above the, above the TV in the lobby. And that is the, the horse is made ready for the day of battle, but victory rests with the Lord. And we always want to keep that in perspective because as much success as we've had, uh, sometimes you can get to feeling your own stuff. And uh, we know where it all comes from and we're thankful for it.